Hi folks, welcome to today's video. Okay, had a dream last night to try something new. Don't know how well this is gonna turn out, but I figured better catch it on video just in case it turns out well. So this is what the dream was about. So just a tongue depressor kind of stick, right? And then taped this on the end of it to use as a, a swiping tool uh, during an, an acrylic pour. So what is this? Well, these are just little plastic strips that I pulled out of a garbage bag. So the garbage bag has a pull string. This is the pull string. I pulled that out. I cut little strips off of it and stuck it to the end of these little popsicle sticks. All right, so we'll see how that works and hopefully it comes out well. This is the color palette I've chosen for today's pour. So let me go through it real quick with, with you. Uh, the outside two, uh, one is gonna be for, for my base coat, uh, what some people call a pillow, uh, the paint that'll go on the canvas first that I pour into. And I've chosen titanium white from Liquitex uh, for, for that base coat. And then for my webbing or lacing or whatever you wanna, wanna call it, uh, that, that kind of borders the cells, uh, I've chosen DecoArt brand lamp black. Uh, the middle colors, this is uh, my actual color palette and I have a couple different brands here. I have Folk Art uh, and also Deco Art and all of the paints that I'm using today are metallic paints. Uh, I thought it was interesting to find Deco Art and Folk Art both make a color called Ice Blue. They don't look like each other but they do look like they might look good together so I'm going to put both ice blues into today's work along with an emerald green from Deco Art and a bright gold from Folk Art. How this is going to get mixed, uh, all these paints are going to get mixed with Floetrol in a ratio of four to one. So that's four parts of Floetrol to one part of paint. But in addition to the Floetrol, uh, the middle colors are going to uh, get a little silicone oil added to them. And there's a, a number of different silicone oil brands on the market, plus you can make your own, you know, you can get silicone, mix it with different oils, try different formulas, play around with it, have fun with it, uh, or uh, you, can, you can buy ones that are already made up. And that's what I did for today, and I'm just choosing to use um, Color Pour Brands Cell Magic Silicone Oil. So that's already all pre-mixed and, and whatnot and easy to use. Uh, these can be a little bit expensive, uh, so, you know, if you can do a little bit on, on the cheap with your own formula, uh, that's another way to go as well. So, to get the pour to the right consistency, the right consistency being uh, that of about honey. So in the thickness and the way it pours, uh, since I'm dealing with different brands of paint and you know different styles, I'm dealing with a tube paint. Uh, you know, uh, some are thinner, some are thicker. So what I need is in my cups, I need to get them all to about the same consistency. So that means thinning as needed. And and what I'm doing, what I'm going to use for that, is what I call my 90/10 mixture, and that's just 10%. Uh, with uh, of the flow troll mixed with 90 percent water so 90 10 and then i just thin it down uh, until i get it to the consistency uh, that's right for the pour let's go have some fun Experiment. Dun, dun, dun.
Okay, so here's all four of the paintings we made with the same color scheme today. Uh, so four pours in one day with, with the same colors. And they all kind of look different. Honestly, if I was to try to pick a favorite at this point, I'd be hard pressed. But I think maybe, I think I'm kind of with this one right now. But that might change. <laughs> well, thanks for joining today. Um, until next time, keep having fun. Bye.